Android has just released the new version of their latest operating system. They got rid of the desert names and with this update, it's now called the Android 10. The update went live a few days ago. I installed this on my Pixel 3a and here are 5 new major changes on the Android 10. First up, we have gestures. Here we have the new optional gesture system which replaces all the buttons with a single white bar at the bottom. From here, you can swipe up to go home or go to the multitasking screen. You can swipe from the bottom on the home screen to go to the app drawer, swipe across the bottom to switch apps and swipe from either side to go back. Also, you can swipe up diagonally or vertically from the bottom to launch Google Assistant. All these gestures seems very confusing at first, but after a few minutes, it all feels intuitive and fluid. Personally, I got used to it in no time. Next is the dark mode. Well, dark mode is getting more and more common these days, and even Google has integrated a dedicated option for the dark mode on Android 10. And I think the dedication towards dark mode is pretty significant and elegant on the Android 10. The whole UI is dark themed, and there's even integration of dark themes on apps so that they change their color according to which mode you choose. To be honest, it's an amazing attention to detail. Just look at how the calculator app changes its color according to the theme. Next up, we have digital well-being and parental tools. With this integration, you can monitor and control the usage of your device. There's a dashboard showing you the usage of your device for the day, and there are options to set a timer for each app to be used only at a given time. Also, there's wind down mode, which is like an automatic schedule for the do not disturb mode and the night mode combined. It basically blocks all the notifications and turns on the case grill mode, do not disturb, and night light mode. It's an amazing feature that tries to get you off your phone when it's bedtime. You can also manage the app notifications and flip to shush, which will turn on do not disturb mode when you put your phone face down on a flat surface. Also, there's a dedicated parental control setting. All of these features really helps you monitor the activities on your device, so you can schedule the usage and use of your device more properly. Next up, we have default theming options. For the first time, stock Android comes with the default theming options that you can get on the developer settings. It's not like the downloadable kind theme that you have on Samsung devices, but you get basic theming options like choosing the accent color, fonts, and the icon shapes. It's a good step forward towards customization, which I find lacking on stock Android. Next up, we have the redesigned permission and app info settings. This is probably the most important update on Android 10. Here are the new limitations on what apps can do and what information they can access. There are a lot of important revisions on the privacy settings and location settings. You can choose the permissions of each app from the permissions manager. Also, the redesigned app info settings makes it easy to manage each app settings individually. And mostly these changes are invisible, but it's really essential. And just for you guys who stuck here at the end of this video, here's an extra feature called desktop mode. Not sure why we need it, but hey, we've got a desktop mode on the Android 10. To get access, go to developer settings, under app settings, there's an option called force desktop mode. And this will output the operating system on the secondary display. I did not want to list this as the sixth feature because I don't think a lot of people will be using it. But it's still an interesting feature nonetheless. So these were the major changes we have found on the Android 10. Do let us know in the comments below if you have found any other changes that you like. So that's all for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman signing out.